everyone, Merry Christmas! Now I've already made a video about Christmas in Japan generally, so this is going to be about what's going on in Japan this year, 2017. And the first thing you might already have heard of, because it's been in all the Japan blogs, Christmas Cake Pepsi. It's a white fizzy drink that tastes of Japanese Christmas cake, which is a light vanilla sponge cake covered in loads of cream and strawberries. Now I just can't imagine what that would be like in a fizzy drink. There's also another Christmas cake drink, which is more of a milkshake, and apparently this one tastes really good, but I'm not sure if I'd try it. After my experiences with pudding milkshake, that did not taste good. If you want to see that, it's in a video on my channel. On the other hand, actual Japanese Christmas cake is really good, and you should definitely try it if you get the chance. I've had it from Sweets Paradise and Cozy Corner, which both have branches everywhere, and both of them were really delicious. It's available all year round, because they have it for birthdays as well as Christmas. This year, you can also get Final Fantasy Christmas cakes. There's a Chocobo, a Moogle, and a Cactar. And to go with it, how about this 30th anniversary Final Fantasy wine? You can also get anime Christmas cakes. Here's some from a site called Annie Sugar. On to ice cream. These cute Christmas ice creams, or as the ad says, ice cream, are from a shop in Harajuku on Takeshita Street. Look how cute the little candy canes are. The ice cream's green, it's pistachio flavour, so it looks like a Christmas tree. And the baubles are oily, which are traditional Japanese sweets for when someone gets married. In Japan, Christmas is for couples and going on dates. It's a bit like Valentine's Day here. So the marriage sweets are to wish you good luck in love. At the Hilton in Tokyo in Odaiba, there's a Christmas dessert buffet. It's called Miniature Christmas Market World with a gingerbread house and so many cute cakes. Look at this reindeer cake and a round cake like Santa's belly and the little strawberry Santas. You get a 45 or 90 minute session. How much of this could you eat in 90 minutes? It would be completely destroyed. And are you allowed to eat the gingerbread house? Winter illuminations are really popular in Japan. These aren't your typical high street Christmas lights. They light up whole areas and they really do look magical. They're for winter, not just for Christmas, so lots of them carry on into the new year. So if you've got a trip booked at the start of the year, check the dates because they might still be on. I would love to see some of these. In Shiodome, there's a Beauty and the Beast theme. It looks amazing, and they've got the rose from the story. In Shibuya, it's Hello Kitty themed, and the trees have little Hello Kitty bows. At Tokyo Midtown, there's a starlight garden with half a million LEDs. There's different areas. One of them has the trees like champagne glasses, and there's a four meter high Santa tree with 1800 Santas. And if that sounds like too much fun for you, there's also a Christmas party specializing in cleaning up for a pongi. Every Friday night, people volunteer to come and clean up the streets. You have to wear blue because that's the colour of the official Roppongi Cleanup Association. And they've even got their own Facebook page. Now, on one hand, it is kind of funny that people volunteer to spend their Friday night cleaning up. But it's also really good that people actually care that much to clean up the streets and give up their time to keep the place nice. One of the biggest illuminations is in Mie Prefecture. One year they had a scale model of the Niagara Falls, 20 meters high and 120 meters wide. They have lit up flowers, which look amazing, and they always have a light tunnel. This year they've got a completely pink light tunnel as well. But is that better than these illuminations at a park in Shizuoka, which are not at all tacky with a giant lit up birthday cake and macarons? It's definitely different and it truly is dazzling. But I must admit, I do like this multicolored light tunnel. In the same place, there's a theme park called Nagashima Spa Land, where they're having a zombie Christmas party. There's a zombie island with Christmas decorations. There's a DJ, zombies dancing on the stage. But the best part is a zombie Santa. Don't sit on his knee or you might not make it till Christmas. At one cafe in Tokyo, they're having Merry Apple Christmas with an apple themed afternoon tea. It says that apples are a symbol of Christmas in Europe. Now, I never heard of that. If apples are Christmassy in your country, tell me in the comments. I did a bit of research and it said before people hung baubles on the Christmas tree, they used to hang apples. I've got hamsters on mine. <laughs> and in China, the word for Christmas Eve sounds a bit like the word for apple, so apples are Christmassy. 
Anyway, at Merry Apple Christmas, you can meet Japan's only official Santa, as recognised by the International Santa Claus Association of Greenland. Did you know that to become an official Santa, you have to take an exam? Could you imagine all the Santas in the exam hall together? To be eligible, you have to be married with children, and you have to weigh over 120 kilograms in your Santa outfit with all your Santa gear. The exam is in Denmark. You have to wear your Santa outfit the whole way there, then run to a house, climb up to the top, go down the chimney, deliver the presents, eat six cookies, drink the milk, go back up the chimney and run 50 meters back to the start, waving your national flag. In Japan, there's only one official Santa who's passed the exam, which means that all these 5,500 Santas are fake. This is the Santa run in Osaka. It's a five kilometer run. Santa outfits are provided for you and it's for charity to give presents to sick children in hospital. The slogan is, the more Santas, the more smiles. By the way, if you like my t-shirt, this is All the Best Stuff is from Japan, which was one of my oldest t-shirt designs. I've completely redone it and tried to include all the best things on there. You can get it from our website, cakeswithfaces.co.uk or from Cakes with Faces on Etsy, and I can deliver worldwide to any country. Now, my favorite thing about Christmas in Japan, which you might already know, is that Christmas dinner is KFC. It started in the 70s with a marketing campaign called Kentucky Christmas, and it carried on from there. They said that chicken is the next best thing to turkey, and Colonel Sanders looks a bit like Santa. This year, you could get a party box with eight pieces of chicken, a salad, and a chocolate cake for 4,000 yen. You can pre-book from early November, and they really do have queues outside KFC at Christmas. If you like KFC, here's the perfect Christmas present. KFC bath bombs. They're shaped like fried chicken. They come in a cardboard box, and they really do smell like KFC. Other shops are getting in on the fried chicken for Christmas trend too. At Lawson's, the convenience store, they're having a special promotion. 10 yen off fried chicken. That's six pence, a very tempting discount. At Family Mart, that's another convenience store, you can get Christmas boxes of Family Chicky. There's a downloadable form so you can order yours in advance, and they've made a bag of fried chicken into a mascot character called Family Chicky Senpai. In their advert, he's going skiing, and there's even a full seven minute romantic drama starring Family Chicky Senpai on their YouTube channel. And finally, Gachapon! They're the capsule toys that you get from the machines, and they often have some really good stuff in them. And these are Christmas hats for cats. There's been several series of these hats for cats, and I always love how angry the cats look in the photos. The Halloween ones are pretty good, but these are Christmas ones. There's Santa hats, a reindeer with antlers, a snowman, and the best one, a Christmas tree. I've just put my flights to Japan, so there'll be some new Japan videos coming up next year. Before that, there's a few more Disney World videos, and I might do a bit about how, my, how I'm planning my trip. So if there's anything you wanna hear about, put it in the comments. Thank you to everyone who's watched my videos this year, and everyone who's ordered something, or left me a nice comment. You guys really are the best. And if you're new to Cakes With Faces, you can see all my designs on cakeswithfaces.co.uk and there's loads more videos about Japan on my channel. If you get Cakes With Faces stuff as Christmas presents, send me a picture, I really would love to see them and have a fantastic Christmas and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.